Hello and welcome to another match vlog on the channel. Today is Hibs versus Kilmarnock at Easter Road on the third of on the third of September, twenty twenty two, three p.m. It's a Saturday. Football's back at Easter Road at Saturday on a three on a three o'clock. First time since the end of last season, both had a three o'clock league game on a Saturday. Today we had the League Cup game against Clyde at three o'clock on a Saturday. I couldn't make that game, but so this is my first three o'clock Saturday game for a while. Come on, Hibs! Come on! Oops, first vlog that I've had this jacket in as well. Got bought this off, bought it off to the Rangers game, and I don't regret it. Apart from my bank account, <laughs> slightly does, but hey. We should be okay. And so it's now coming up half ten. I'm going out at half twelve. And yeah. Going for a 2 0 hip swing today. 2 0. Because I think if we don't manage to get a 2 0 win today, we could be in a bit of trouble. Obviously, we know Harry McCurdy could feature today. As he said in my preview yesterday that I wouldn't. Then literally two, three minutes after I posted that video yesterday, after I posted a match preview, Hibbs announced the fact that his FIFA approval has gone through and he will be available for the game. So thanks for that, Hibbs. Making me look like, making me look like an idiot just two, three minutes after my videos come out. Cheers. But I'm hoping that McCurdy can go on the score sheet. Well, I'll say 2 0 McCurdy and Boyle. Come on, turn on win. Come on, Nabs. And we're back. It's now quarter past nine. Um, I've had my dinner, basically. I wanted to have dinner before recording the outro because I was hungry when I got back from the game. But obviously ended 1-0. Big three points for us. The three points are still, are still the same size as any three points, but those three points fucking massive for this football club today. And along with other results today, put us in potentially a good position if we can get a couple of wins in the next in the next two or three games. So because now we're just well if we look at the table if I can find it. Uh, hold on, I'm holding this with the wrong hand, probably. No, I want the fucking league table, not the Hibs website, please. Search that, please, thank you. Table. We are two points off third. Because this... um, it's Aberdeen in third, down to... Motherwell in fifth with hearts in between all on 10 points and we're on eight. So we're just two points. We're just two points behind there now. And with bottom of the league Dundee United next week, you can guarantee we're going to lose. But. <laughs> so. You, <clears throat> obviously with hearts being involved 
And from this point with European football, which obviously we're not in, they'll be playing Thursday, Sunday. We'll be playing Saturdays. I think that's an advantage. I think. I think already that's an advantage for us, which obviously it shouldn't matter what day of the week you're playing your games, but I think just any game that's on a Saturday is an advantage over a Sunday game, just personal preference. And um, <clears throat> yeah, as for the as for our game today against Kilmarnock, lucky we should have taken we should have taken more of our chances. And I'll get on to the Bojang miss in a bit, but it's like I f we should have scored before before the red card, before their red card, and before the Johnny Ull goal. We should have scored before, and um, we should have scored about six or seven afterwards against against the ten men. Which it was a red card, by the way. It was a red card. The night nice Martin Boyle probably scoring. So red card's a fair decision, and it was outside the box. Free kick was the right decision. So then Joe Newell takes the free kick. I think it was a save by the goalkeeper where he hit the wall. Then it falls back to Joe Newell on the edge of the area, and he just and he curls it in. It's just brilliant, it's a brilliant start to the game. And then from there, we go forward straight away again after the goal. And uh, I think it was Cadden. And then Yuan, I think. Could be very, could be very wrong, but I think it was Ella Yuan. Hits it over, and then they get back into the game. And everything other than the scoreline, fortunately for us. <clears throat> but then, well, it's pretty much that for the rest of the game. To be honest, we should have taken it. We should have taken more chances. We had plenty of opportunities to kill the game. We should have done more than kill the game as well. Especially with the Mamadou Bojang chance right at the end. It's like, just fucking put your foot through the ball, mate. Put your foot through the ball and that's 2-0. We can all calm down. Fortunately, the missed chances didn't come back to bite us in the arse like they have done previously. And I even said to the guy sitting next to me today, like, this is going to end 1-1. Just feel it. You can just feel it ending one one. We've done all we've done the late draws before. It was like I've said when we start turn to be on the receiving end of one. And thank fuck I was wrong. Because if we had dropped points today with all of those chances, especially the Momo the Momo the Momo Bojang one I don't think you could have forgiven this team. There would have been no forgiving us if we hadn't won today with all the chances and the numerical advantage that we had for 80 minutes of the game. And it was good to see Harry McCurdy make his hips debut. I know I said in the match preview yesterday that he wouldn't play. But he did play, so it's brilliant. Only thing missing from him today, I felt, was a goal. He... Could see even from where I was sat in the ground. He was getting a bit frustrated not to have the ball more. Which I guess you want an attacking player that wants the ball. I guess that's a good thing. But yeah, I mean he could have scored. Maybe he should have scored. Again with Yuan, McCurdy, Bojang, I think. Boyle maybe should have scored as well. Obviously, Newell did score. Cadden, I think, should have scored as well. I can't... I can't remember every single chance we had, but... We should have definitely scored more than one. Which is the only real criticism I can give the team today. And the fact that we were fucking slow. I take that back, actually. Not the only criticism. Because we should have... We need to be much more clinical in front of goal. That's one thing I'm critical of. Two things I'm critical of, actually, not one. The other one is how slow we move the ball. And I get the fact we're 1-0 up. But we've moved the ball like that when we've been behind before. Like, last week we did that. 
And and against Livingston, we did that. And we just can't do that when we're... It's like, this team only knows how to play one way. And it's slow. We just need to start passing the ball forwards. Getting the ball to the likes of Boyle, Yuan, McCurdy, Melkerson, whoever's on the pitch, or Bojang. Just think, Kirk, we created, we created plenty of chances today. I'm not denying that. But we just need to move the ball quicker. And in turn, that will create more goals. And I know we started to limit with the midfield again of a midfield including Newell, Campbell and Doyle Hayes. Not even Doyle Hayes didn't Doyle Hayes didn't play. With Kenner, Newell, Campbell and Henderson. Doyle Hayes didn't play. But I feel like Doyle Hayes could have could have helped us today. And I was also disappointed not to see Gia Tavares make an appearance at all today off the bench when Bojan came on. Thought he should have come on as well. Felt he maybe could have changed something. Just changed something for us and maybe have got the second goal to kill the game off for us. Which in the end we didn't. But, thank but thankfully it didn't cost us. Which in previous weeks it would definitely would have done. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. I will see you for the Dundee United preview that should be out on Friday. Right, until then, I'll thank you for watching and I will see you later. Bye-bye.